Welcome to another episode of the Quick Corners Book Corner. My guest today, my friend, has been here several times. You'll see her bio right after this. Please join us in the Quip Corners Book Corner. Welcome back to the Quip Corners Book Corner Takadra. Thank you. I am so glad to be back with you. <laughs> the last time you were here, you gave us, you know, a hint that something was coming. I did. And now I am here with that something. And okay. <laughs> yes. And that, well, just, I just wanted to remind your listening audience that um, I am the author of a children's book, Hello, Queen. Yes. This book was published. I would get a lot of questions about, well, what do you have for the boys? And I had to say, I don't have anything right now. But today, today, I am so excited to share with you. Um, I call it the sequel to Hello, Queen. Of course, today, I'm excited to share with you Hello, King. <laughs> nice. Yes. Nice. So, so Hello, King is a positive, it really is a positive affirmation book for our young boys, for our men. And it is very timely. Uh, June, we celebrate our fathers, those are, that are father-like figures. Um, I know some organizations or churches may celebrate Men's Month in June. And this is definitely a book that you definitely want to share with men. Um, all of the affirmations in this book, they can be found on the last page as a reading. So this is something I give you permission right now if you want to make a copy or frame this. This is something that our young boys and our men can say to themselves every day. We know that um, in life, we all, especially our men, encounter many different challenges. Yeah. But these words, these words that they will help to speak life into their situations. Amen. Amen. You know, I was smiling when you said, oh, in June, we celebrate fathers. So backstory, um, in March, we have Mothering Sunday, you know, which is celebrated in the UK, in Nigeria, and a few other Commonwealth countries that have, you know, say the Anglican base. And then in um, May, we have the more popular Mother's Day. So a couple of years ago, in March on my family platform. So extended family, cousins, siblings, cousins. Um, in March, you know, we're like, happy Mothering Sunday, you know? And everybody was, oh, happy Mothering Sunday. And then come May, we start, happy Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And one of the men, in fact, I'm gonna out him. My brother, one of my brothers, now on goes, how many times do we celebrate women? And I was like, you want to watch it because we can create another celebration. <laughs> no, because we had International Women's Day and then Mothering right. Sunday. And then, you know, so it was almost like women, 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 women. So, you know, in addition to celebrating men in June, we have International Men's Day in November. Okay. You know, and so for the men, you know, it's not to say, oh, well, oh, oh, I missed getting Takadra's book for Father's Day. There is still International Men's Day. Ahead. Well, there you go. That's a good point. <laughs> good point. Tell us some more because um, it, it seems that there's a lot of attention paid to women. And whether it is women paying attention to women or men paying attention to women, it almost seems like, you know, 
there is more, you know, when you think of affirmations and things like that. So besides people nudging you to say, what about the one for men? What else mm -hmm. was a driving force for this? Right. Um, and something else that was a driving force for me to write this book, um, I'm also an educator. And um, I wanted our young boys to be able to see themselves reflected in the books that they read. Um, mm -hmm. And I want them to see positive images of themselves. Yeah. So for this particular book, I chose to use real life images and of um, brown boys and men. Nice. Um, so images depicted from, from various ages, from little babies to more seasoned men in the book mm -hmm. and so I want them to know that they have role models that they can look up to that look like them and I think that's that is so important again yes. um concept with hello queen mm -hmm. the king, king, a king doesn't have to live in a faraway place or be yes. you don't know they can be the men in your life the the teachers the the male role models you may have the fathers yeah. the those people that may be a part of your extended family. Mm -hmm. So we want especially our young boys to be able to see themselves reflected. Yeah, nice. Yes. And, you know, it's so important, um, you know, when I think about seeing yourself reflected, it's um, what you behold, you become. Mm, exactly, exactly. And we need to, and so what I decided to do also, I do like collages. So um, some of the words that are in the book, I made a little collage with them. Um, mm -hmm. I am the queen king, and I have the words wise, confident, successful, thinker, mm -hmm. leader, supporter. That's who you are. Yes. Regardless of what you may hear on the news or on social media, yeah. this is what you are. This is yeah. what you Mm -hmm. yeah and it's it's so so important to have those words around us and just you know it's almost like inhaling them mm -hmm. exactly exactly um right. nice. there's, power, there's power in the words that we say there's power in the tongue you know yes. those we you know um we want to believe the things that we say about ourselves mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i like how right. proverbs 18 I think it's 1821 puts it, you know, there's um, the power of life or death in the tongue. You know, another translation says the words you speak are fruit wow. of their poison. Mm. You know, another one talks about those who love to talk better be ready to eat or live with the consequences, you know. Mm. So what we say determines how we live. Right, right. And once you put that out in the atmosphere, it's out there. You, yep. You've already said it about yourself. It's out there. Yeah. And so uh, with this book, I do believe that it will be a blessing um, to the young boys and men that read it. They will be able to say with confidence, mm -hmm. I am the king. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I'm going to ask you to read something for me, but I have a quick question that just dropped in my heart. You know, some people could say, oh, you're so arrogant saying you're a king or you're a queen. What would your response to that be? Because sometimes if somebody reads that and then goes around saying, oh, I'm a king, um, they could get bullied. You know, They could get passed over or put in a corner and said, naughty, naughty, naughty. You're overestimating who you are. What would your response to those thoughts? Mm -hmm. I appreciate that question. Um, I would remind them that, and I've heard this is not my own quote. I want to say that, but I've, I've read, um, I think it related to a leader, but I'm going to also relate it to a queen or a king. It's more, um, it's um, more than a title. It's a mindset. It's, so it's, it's a way of thinking. It's a way of life. It's mm -hmm. not that um, I'm better than you or I'm better than anyone else, but it's all about my attitude. Mm -hmm. um, I have a positive attitude about myself. I want to hold my head up high. I want to 
um, have confidence. And so yeah. that yeah. is what I associate with having a king mindset or, or having a queen mindset. It's all about the actions. And mm-hmm. you, you know, and so, you know, you may not even have to tell anyone that you're a king or a queen. They should be able to look at you and know that just like people can look at you and know that you're a child of God. Yeah. So all in how we we act and we carry ourselves and we how we respond to different situations as well. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And, you know, when I think about the mindset, having the right mindset guides your actions because... Mm-hmm. Um, you'd say, well, a king will not do some things. You know, I will not be petty. Mm-hmm. You know, and you, you, you really, like you say, carry yourself appropriately, not arrogantly, mm-hmm. but confidently. Nice, mm-hmm. right? And that goes back with being a thinker. You want to give yourself time to think and to process before you act and respond. Mm-hmm. Uh, in- that may be out of character. So think time is so important. Processing time is so important, even as even as a learner, even as a student. That's mm-hmm. so important. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why don't you read something from your book to us, please? I, I, I sure will. Hello, King. I am an African king. I am filled with hopes and dreams. My present is bright and my future is promising. Truth and knowledge is what I seek. I am intelligent. I walk with confidence. I stand proudly on the shoulders of my ancestors. I am a light for the world to see. I am courageous when challenges come my way. There is a leader in me. I will make wise choices. I have the power to make positive changes. I will think before I speak. I will uplift others. I will support and respect the queen. I can be whatever I choose to be. I will not give up. I will keep going. I am a success. My life has a purpose. My life has meaning. I will continue my journey because I know who I am. Who am I? I am an African king. (laughs) Wow. You know, I was giggling when you read that line, I will think before I speak. Yeah. You know, we're just talking about the power of words. Nice. When I wrote um, the words, I was thinking, what would I, what would I say to a little brown boy? Mm-hmm. What would I say to a little brown boy to uh, keep him encouraged? What might he want to hear? Mm him to keep going and pushing through. And so that was kind of my mind frame when I was writing the words. Nice. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. So a couple of people would may not have watched previous videos. Well, we'll put a link somewhere so that they can catch up. But okay. can people get copies of your book, please. Yes. Yeah, so the books are all available on Amazon. So once we go onto Amazon, we just type in your name and they all come through. Right, right. All, all six books will come up and we'll have to, um, I'll have to come back and talk about two other, two other um, coloring and activity books that I have written to go along with Hello King, Hello Queen, Hello King and Hello Queen. <laughs> Whichever order we saw both and we hear you. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. That will be really good. I mean, you you know, you're always welcome back here. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, thanks again for joining me in the Quip Corner to share your book with us. Again, thank you so much for the invitation. As always, I love coming to the Quip Corner. You're welcome. God bless you. Bless you. Amen. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm well. How are you doing? I am good. Who red is the color today? (laughs) 
I love it. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. So how have you been? I am good. It's good to see you. My mom asks yes. about you all the time. How is she doing too? She is doing good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, you know the drill, and I'm ready when you are. Okay, I am I am ready. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's okay. just pray. Let's just pray before we start. Um, why okay. don't you pray? Why don't you pray, Tukata? Okay, we'll do. Dear Lord, we come just to say thank you, God. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for just allowing us to wake up to see this day. Yes. That have allowed us to see God. Lord, we ask that you would just bless this interview, Lord. Let the people that are listening to the interview be blessed by the book that we will be discussing on today, God. I know that it will definitely impact our young boys and our young men, Lord. Lord, you have called them to be greater. You have called them called them out for such a time as this, God. And we, I just know that this book will be a blessing to those that who 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 read it and, and learn about it god we thank you we thank you for our sister with her vision for this ministry that she has to share works by by christian authors so that other people will know about their works god and and everything that we do god we give you the glory and we just mm. say this we ask in your name amen amen amen, amen. It's always a delight having Sakadra in the room <laughs> with me. <laughs> Her books sound really, really, really interesting and uplifting. Below this, as usual, you'll see info on how you can get copies. And like we said, there's always a right time to buy books to uplift the younger ones and even to uplift ourselves. So, please get your copy, copies, and continue to share the positive affirmations. Until we catch up again, you take care. God bless you. Bye now.